Je vais vous parler. I'm going to be telling you about women, local knowledge and biodiversity in the Mascarene Islands. First of all, where are these islands? The archipelago of the Mascarene Islands is in the Indian Ocean, east of Madagascar, and comprises three islands, Reunion Island, Mauritius, which are well known, and the third island, which most people do not know, Rodriguez. Reunion Island is a French overseas territory, Mauritius is a republic, and Rodriguez is part of Mauritius and has been an autonomous region for about 15 years. So Reunion, Mauritius and Rodriguez have a population that is uh, both uh, ancient and uh, more recent. Uh, Reunion was settled in the second half of the 17th century, Mauritius slightly later in terms of uh, permanent population because previous attempts had failed, and Rodriguez much later because there was no uh, point in occupying the islands other other than retrieving turtles um, on ships that were on their way to the Indies. So settlement occurred in different manners. Reunion and Mauritius were sugarcane islands, so there was mass import of enslaved persons from India, from Africa, from Madagascar, from the Comoros Islands. And then later on, when uh, people came with contracts, from Asia, uh, Europe again, and other parts of India and so on. Rodriguez was settled essentially with uh, populations from Reunion and Mauritius themselves. So why is the settlement of the islands important? It's important especially for women and the knowledge of women, because women in these three islands were always very much a minority compared to men. There were some points in Reunion Island when there were eight men for one woman, and in Rodriguez there were eight women in total for a number of men that was 10 to 15 times that. So in fact, these women held knowledge, local knowledge, which grew over time and which was often connected to the human body in the manner in which one could take care of it, and notably through the use of plants and phytotherapy. Uh, because uh, until a very recent uh, period, uh, until the 1950s or 1960s, modern Western medicine had a very low presence in the Mascarene Islands, so you had to use the available resources, which were very often medicinal plants. So women were the uh, guardians and the holders of that local knowledge to uh, treat people with plants. So these medicinal plants for a very long time were gathered in a predatory mode. Why so? Because uh, the plants were picked, the barks of trees also were often used, and a tree without its bark uh, eventually dies. And for a very long time, all of the uh, collection of the plants was predatory and the predation could have a significant impact on biodiversity because some species of plants in the Mascarene Islands, in fact a very large number of species, are purely endemic. And of course, if you overexploit these plants, they become extinct and therefore disappear from the surface of the earth. And when awareness began to appear about the preservation of these endemic species, the question was, how could one both respect local knowledge, the local knowledge of women, how could one respect the therapeutic use of plants by the population, but also ensure that endemic species would not become extinct and that predatory approaches could be transformed in order for people to continue to use plants uh, for medicinal reasons without an impact on biodiversity. There were two types of responses that were found in Mauritius, Rodriguez and Reunion. In Mauritius and Rodriguez, the body that's most involved and most active in these campaigns is the Mauritian Wildlife Foundation, which is taking very keen interest in preserving biodiversity, animal and vegetable. 
and in Rodriguez and Mauritius, they are very much involved in educating about the environment with a major focus on the use of medicinal plants. For instance, in Rodriguez, the Mauritian Wildlife Foundation organizes training sessions in schools with uh, women's associations to raise their awareness to the use of medicinal plants, to train them in how to recognize plants, notably endemic plants, and to suggest alternatives to the use of uh, the endemic plants. They show them other plants which uh, can have equivalent effects which allows preservation of, of endemic species to have programs to replant these endemic species, which feeds the stock of endemic plants present in Mauritius and Rodriguez. And the same type of uh, awareness raising uh, takes place in Mauritius itself, of course. On Reunion Island, the approach is slightly different because the effort is essentially focused on school children. There are two types of bodies who work on this, private uh, NGOs, the Association for the Preservation and Promotion of Aromatic and Medicinal Plants, for instance, and another body called the, the Mascarene Botanical Conservatory. So both of these uh, work uh, either separately or together. So this takes the form of an annual competition, a competition called Le Concours Zerbas Pays, where children are encouraged to gather medicinal plants, to, uh, play, to put them into albums, and to try and gather knowledge from their neighbors, from people they know, people who uh, hold that knowledge in the community. And every year, uh, a school is rewarded for its action and based on these actions, which uh, uh, are very widely covered in the media, the Botanical Conservatory works to uh, pick up on these awareness-raising initiatives uh, to encourage a reduction in predatory behaviors. So, of course, these initiatives are still relatively modest, but they do have a significant impact on the population. Uh, be it in Reunion, Mauritius or Rodriguez, they have been uh, undertaken for the past 15 years or so, and the effects are starting to be felt in the population, which is taking a, a much more keen interest in endemic or medicinal plants, and behaviors are indeed changing. Things are also changing because from an academic point of view, all of this has been complemented in the reunion since 2011. An ethnomedicine diploma has been created with medical anthropology, but also ethnobotanics. And it is followed both by health professionals, but also agents of the National Park, because Reunion Island uh, was listed by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site. And this helps uh, to preserve these medicinal plants and, uh, more globally, uh, helps to preserve biodiversity in the Mascarene Islands.